What's up guys? This is Bo uh, and this episode I'm going to show you how to install a roof rail on a sprinter van. If you, if your van came without the roof rail pre-installed from the factory already, you can install your own which is very easy. Okay, so this rail here, it's, this is a one inch uh, um, rail and it fits onto the factory holes which is already pre-drilled you don't need to drill it it's, it's good so this brand this is aftermarket brand is not from a Mercedes but it works the same way it fits exactly it's made for the Mercedes all right so if you have a 170 wheelbase uh, it comes with three sections and if it's a 144 it's only two sections so it's very easy that there's a letter here you can follow okay from front to the back a to b b to c c to d and then we if you align it that way you can see b to b here your screw hole will align with the factory uh, pre-drill. Th this is uh, just a plastic cap. Okay, you're gonna remove that, and then this is where the screw goes into. So the material, the uh, equipment, the tool that you need. Uh, basically, you don't even need a drill. Okay, you will need a 10 millimeter socket like this. This is from the inside when you after you insert these screws uh, you're gonna go on from the inside of the van you um, you put the uh, washer and the two washers the lock washer and the flat washer and the nut which is the 10 millimeter okay and it came with the weatherproof tape seal here that is gonna go on the on the bottom of the rail and that's where it's gonna uh, t tight when you screw it it's gonna fit really tight uh, waterproof into the van um, and then also they come with the end, end caps that will go at on each end okay put these screws make it tight because there's nothing no no uh, washer nothing to go in it Okay, so it's supposed to be waterproof and it fits tight when you when you uh, tighten the screws it's it's waterproof okay and uh, what else uh, and then these are the connections okay stainless steel connections uh, between each rails that's how they're gonna go okay to connect each section together so it's it's all uh, you got a straight line there okay and that's pretty much it you just need a, a utility knife so you can just kind of carve around this plastic here to remove that okay once you cut all around it just be careful this thing might slip and don't put your hand next to it once you cut around it, sometimes you need a little bit of a uh, flat screwdriver to kind of help it out. And then from underneath, you can just uh, push it up. Okay. All right, that's what we're going to do right now. So this seems to work better for us. First, I just want to pick, pick it up with the a screwdriver like this just to, to break it off the top and then poke the hole push it down and then for the the rest of the glue I use this thing which is plastic okay it's plastic to uh, push clean up all the, the residual the, the glue all around our holes make sure it is smooth and it doesn't and doesn't scratch the, the van so it seems working very well for us 
okay once we got all the holes cleaned up there's one last thing on here on the end at the end of of each rail the front and the back there are two uh, one holes on, on each end that is optional if you want to use it uh, but you do have to drill because Mercedes did not make uh, pre-drill these holes at the end because that's your that's your option if you want to drill it it's kind of inside the overhead the, the driver which I'm not going to deal with it and we're not going to need it because the the uh, roof rack is going to uh, mount uh, more to the inside here uh, we don't need that that's strong enough uh, another thing is um, they come with these weatherproof uh, sealed foam here uh, but since the, the surface is not like 100% smooth I'm gonna go ahead um, every every uh, hole I'm going to apply the silicone I'm going to apply the silicone around each hole just a peace of mind you know this tape and also the silicone on top of it I, I don't know what can go wrong with that it's uh, just to be sure there's no leak around it okay let's do that my bad guys these tapes should be should be applied first should be applied on here first before before you screw it down because uh, it's gonna make it difficult for the tape so after you apply the tape and you screw this down it just uh, it, the screw will poke that hole uh, through and make it a, a better seal otherwise it's uh, it's a, it's risky it, it can create um, a, a you know tear on the tape and it, water might sip through that so we're gonna un we're gonna un undo the screws and then see uh, put the seal first and then screw it back right here that screw will come through and make its own hole as you can see there rails are in now well we're, we're gonna go under inside the van and and screw it from the inside This is about 10 pound torque, maybe. There we go. All the screws are tightened from down here. Now we're just going to go take a look on the top. And it should be done. Pretty easy. Here we go. Our roof rail is done, guys. There you, we see both sides of the roof rail and we got two fans down. Alright, very productive day. 
So in a few days, we're gonna test, we're gonna water test. We're gonna spray, uh, high pressure spray on both sides to make sure that there's no leak before we attach anything into it. Hope that instruction is easy enough. That's how you install the roof rails. Now the roof rack's gonna go up there, the light, the solar panels all attached to the roof rails. So that's an important step is, is done. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe and thank you so much for watching. This is Bo. See you next episode. Bye.